Hey everyone, Dr. Eric, the fitness physician. I'm going to talk about all things related to hormone optimization. I talk about, of course, muscle medicine and hormonal fitness. So Thyroid Thursday continuing on. Last time I talked a little bit about primary hypothyroidism and today we're going to talk about secondary hypothyroidism. Basically, it's not the thyroid gland, there's something else going on. And again, I'll dig into this in more, in more future videos. But the bottom line is that the thyroid is actually pumping out the hormone, but it's not getting converted or used adequately. And it can be from various things. It's not being taken up into the cell. It's not being converted from T4 into T3. Other things can be going on as well. So it's not just about what's floating around in the blood. And that's kind of the common misconceptions that you can look at the TSH, like I talked about last time, and go watch it if you missed it. Um, but, and, but it's still not working at the cell. That's why it's important to get a good history and physical on your patient and talk to them. And if your doctor's not doing that, you need to come see me or come see someone else who's, who's going to dig into that a little bit deeper. Bottom line is that T4 is not converted into T3, which is the active uh, thyroid hormone. As we talked about, thyroid hormone has hundreds of functions throughout the body, pretty much affects every cell in the body. And when you don't get this, you're going to have a, 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 loss, a loss of that effect. Oftentimes too, T4 can get converted, instead of getting converted into T3, it gets converted into RT3 or reverse T3 which basically has the opposite action. It basically is a competitive inhibitor, meaning that it blocks the action of T3, so it can't do its job. And so it basically, basically creates like if there's a shortage of T3, even though you're making it, you're might not making enough. And we'll look at that in some future videos of the ratios between the two and more. But by the bottom line, if you have this, our T3 is high, the regular T3 is gonna be lower. It's not gonna be at high enough, and you're gonna get uh, basically hypothyroid symptoms and adverse effects because of that. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Again, I'll talk about that in future videos, but typically, elevated stress levels, hypochloric diets, malnutrition, illness, inflammation, uh, leptin resistance, insulin resistance, many, many things can cause this. So what, what happens is basically you get what's called the euthyroid or the low T3 syndrome. Basically, again, what you'll see is that your TSH is normal and oftentimes the T4 is normal, but the T3 is usually low normal or even low. And that can be the indicator. And that's why if you're, if you're only looking at the TSH, you're going to miss this. And if you're not getting history, you're not getting, asking the right questions, you're going to miss this. It's not just about the TSH. We treat the patient, not the labs. And that's unfortunately a lot of things in medicine have gone away with basically looking at some lab work saying, oh, everything's normal. Well, it's not optimal and your patient still has symptoms. So there's something else going on. There's a lot more to it. We we'll talk about this in many, many more future videos, but bottom line is this is a major cause uh, of many, many things in terms of the secondary hypothyroid. Next time I'll talk about tertiary, it gets a little more complicated, but the bottom line again is that we want to treat the patient. If you're having symptoms, there's something going on, irregardless of what the TSH says. So hopefully that helped. Uh, check it out. Uh, guys, fire me off uh, some questions. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Like and share uh, my pages, my videos. Um, find my Instagram page, my YouTube page, uh, Facebook as well. Uh, like and friend, like the, like the videos, share them. Uh, and again, anything you want to learn about related to hormones optimization, health optimization, longevity, uh, muscle medicine, and more, please reach out to me. I'd love to answer those questions. And if anybody's interested in consults, either with myself or with my I'm doing a dual consult with Alec Gilbert. We've got a great one-two package, unlike anybody else out there. So reach out, learn how you can be your best. And everyone have a rockin' Thursday, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.